Hey everybody, welcome back to the Backpack Hack channel. And today I thought I'd throw together a quick little video about an update on my Zebralite SC600 FD4+. Plus. Few things that I buy truly impress me when I buy them. Fewer yet are the ones that impress me just as much a year after I bought it. I bought this flashlight a year and a half or a year and a month ago. Uh, it's February 2019. I bought this in January 2018. I used it for four or five months before I did the original video for the review. Uh, it'll be floating up here if you want to click on a link and uh, view that. And I also missed a few files on that review. So there's another video up here. I'll float up here that is an addendum to that. And I just thought I'd do a review after a year because, like I say, few things impress me more than something that impresses me a year after I bought it. I got to tell you, this is probably the best $100 I've ever spent on a piece of gear. And that means for camping, for everyday carry, for personal protection, what have you. Um, of all the gear I buy, I buy some gear that costs thousands of dollars. I buy some gear that only costs a few dollars. But of all the stuff I've bought that is around $100, this has probably been the best $100 piece of gear I've ever bought. When I first bought it, the first thing I did was I charged it up into my X-Tar Dragon. And if you want to see my review of that, that'll be floating up here as well. I think it was 82% charged when I got it from the factory. This has a, I think it's a 3500 milliamp hour. Let me look. Uh, yep, 3500 milliamp hour battery. This is the unprotected battery that comes from the factory. I didn't try to cheap out and get a, save a few bucks on going someplace else. I bought it right from Zebralite. I think it was 82%. I charged it up, put it in the flashlight, turned the flashlight on to, I can't remember exactly what lumen level it was. It was about 12 or 13 or 1400 lumens and let it run for about a half hour. Pulled it out, charged it back up, put it back in, took it to about eight or nine or a thousand lumens, 800, 900, thousand lumens, let it run for an hour, let it cool off, put it back in the charger. And then I put it to like, like 28 lumens or wherever. I can't remember the exact numbers. I'm just going on the fly here. And then I let it set for 24 hours, let it cool off, charged it back up. And then I started to carry it. Now I commented in my original video that one thing I had a problem with is I would turn it on and it would lock up. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't change the light setting. Pushing the button did nothing. I couldn't turn it on. I couldn't turn it off. I couldn't change the light level. The only thing I could do is unscrew the tail cap to disconnect the battery, screw it back in, and then it worked fine. Now it's done that two or three times since I did that video. And I think it was like seven, eight months ago. It's done that a couple times. It's aggravating. Yes. But in the grand scheme of thing, that's minor. The other thing I was concerned about is this has a function on there where if you press the button four times, you get a number of flashes. Now there was four flashes. The manufacturer doesn't tell you what each flash means, whether, you know, four flashes means it's towards fully charged where one flash means it's closer to being discharged. So the first time I carried this for about four or five months and monitored this until I got three flashes and I'm still getting four. So I waited until I got to three flashes and then just out of curiosity, I thought my thinking was I should still be about 75% charged. I put it in my charger, it says 28%. That was a surprise. So I went ahead and charged it up and put it back in and I got four flashes again. Since I did that, I've recharged it once. I have used this on an everyday basis. I'm not using it all the time every day. It's just a flashlight that I get out at work because I need to illuminate something that's dark. You know, you know, I work construction and sometimes I get into an area of a building that's dark or I just get up and walk around the house instead of turning all the lights on around the house. I just walk around at the 0.15 lumen level, just walking around the house. That's plenty of light for me to walk around the house with. And if you don't believe me, there's another video up here on low light lumen uses. That's one thing I like about this is it, the battery lasts so long. I've been able to go four or five months without even charging this thing. And I still got four flashes. But the second time I charged it, I was down to two flashes. 
And this is what concerns me is I put it back in my charger and it said I was 78% charged. So I'm trying to figure out how three flashes could get me down to 28, but two flashes is only 78% discharged. It, it makes no sense to me. So um, I've got to probably get a, get a hold of Zebra Light to see what they say about it. And if I find anything out, I'll add it to the description below. As for the flashlight itself, obviously it's got a few uh, war wounds on it. It's got some scratches here on the body. The clip is starting to wear. Because like I say, this is my EDC flashlight. I carry it in my left pocket with a clip out. So this is going to get some wear. It's been twisted. Now this is not Zebra Light's fault. It's simply the way I carry my flashlight. I carry it in the back of my left pocket. And what I've discovered is when I'm you know, driving down the road and I got my seatbelt on, that clip will actually clip on to the seatbelt and has actually pulled off. In fact, the first time I walked in the house one time, I was like, where is my flashlight? I know I had it at work. Next day I get up and there it is hanging off of the seatbelt. Um, it's done that several times. One time I found it in the little pocket in the door. And again, this is not Zebra Light's fault. It's just the way I carry it. So this has gotten a little bent up, you know, because of that, but it still functions just a little bit fine. You look at it and it's a little bit crooked. It's sticking out a little bit and it's well scratched up. And like I say, there's some dings and dents and scratches on this from where I've dropped it on a, a concrete floor. But still, for $100, I don't think you're going to find a better flashlight. Now, I'm not trying to diss all the other manufacturers. I'm not saying Olight and Throughnight and Phoenix and all those other companies produce trash. Don't get me wrong. They do. But this was the one flashlight that ticked all the boxes for me. And so that's why I went with this one. And I can't say enough that it's just, to me, I'm still thrilled with this flashlight. I still pick this up every once in a while and says, damn, that is just one hell of a good flashlight. I know they're made in China, but this is not Chinese crap that you see a lot of times come out of China. A lot of that stuff is just manufactured to make the specs look good, shovel it out the door, get the money, and hey, we're done with it. This is something I think is probably I'm going to be carrying 10 years from now if I don't lose it. And if I do lose it, I'm going to be feeling sad that I'm going to have to spend another $100 and buy another one. But I just thought I'd do a quick little update on this to let you know that not only was I impressed with this flashlight, and this is the SC600 FD4+, Plus, but I can tell you I've got another uh, Zebra Light. It's the headlamp version of this that takes a AA battery, and hopefully this summer I'll be able to do a review on this. But everything I'm seeing on these Zebra Lights, everybody is just giving them two thumbs up. So if you're looking for a flashlight and you want one that's going to last you and be a good quality and a good value, yes, they're kind of pricey, but you know, you get what you pay for. If you buy something off of Amazon for $20, you're going to get a $20 flashlight. It's that simple. The specs may look good, but they aren't going to be this kind of quality comparable. And like I say, this is my EDC flashlight. It's been in my pocket every day since I bought it 13 months ago. And it's been used. It's been abused. I've dropped it. It's gotten wet. It's gotten dirty. So, and it still works just fine. So all I got to say is if you're looking at a flashlight, Zebra Light is one company that's going to get three thumbs up from me. So with that said, I'm going to wrap this video up. This is Backpack Hack. Be safe out there. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos. And I'll see you out on the trail.